When adding sub-D elements in X shape, we can affect the shape of our mesh by using the robot handles, scale by percentage, or use the scale by bounding box to apply dimensions along X, Y, Z directions. The robot can be selected and repositioned to alter how geometry is manipulated. Additionally, the orientation handles can be controlled based on selected entities, viewing orientation, or the XYZ coordinate system. For additional control in a specific area, faces can be subdivided to add more elements. Not all geometry will be curvature continuous. If edges need to be defined, the crease feature can apply a sharp crease or be scaled back to add a softer crease. Symmetry will be defined to mirror our existing features from one side to the other. Or this can be left on to apply symmetry to new features as well. When adding additional geometry to the model, this can be done using multiple methods. Extrude will add material to selected faces. Inserting a new sub-D element allows for greater control over our new mesh. Net surface transitions a selected profile along a guide curve. Mesh control can be defined Once created, the subdivision can be repositioned to create the desired effect. Using Alt, Control, and Shift drag makes for easy reorienting of geometry to better select and modify our mesh. The Working Zone On feature defines the region to be modified while leaving the remaining mesh unchanged. When a simple sketch will do, the Align to Curve feature repositions the selected mesh to sketched entities for some quick alterations. Once our design is complete, our X-shape model can be added to SOLIDWORKS for some finishing touches before moving our design to production. The freeform environment of X-Shape allows you to create complex surfaces and shapes more easily than ever.